So we did a live on uh, the MTD CNC channel here from the DMG Mori Open House recently uh, where we looked at this machine but we didn't go into much detail, we were just trying to whet the appetite of our audience to come and visit the show. Uh, in this feature I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the machine and why it was introduced and what it's capable of. Let's go this way. Um, the CTX Beta 450TC was launched at uh, or just before EMO last year. Now this is a multitasking machine. Uh, the, the, the Beta basically means that this machine is capable of anything and everything you would expect from a really advanced machine tool. The demonstration in here is, is really quite, um, I suppose, illustrative, if that's the, the good word to use, as the capabilities of the machine. Now this machine is capable of full five axis machining, it's capable of grinding, it's capable of turning, it's capable of gear skiving, it's capable of gear cutting. Everything that you could expect from a, a very advanced machine tool, this uh, CTX450 Beta version will deliver. This head on this machine is something else. I look at these and I'm, it always, yeah, I'm in awe at how they build such a, a high speed um, spindle, also with a lot of power on it too. What's interesting about this demonstration, which, just, which has just finished, is previously before uh, this machine was launched, they did this same demonstration on a machine, uh, a multitasking machine, and it took actually 30% longer to cut the part than it does now on this machine. Now that's mainly down to the new Siemens S1 control system, which has far greater look ahead, and it really applies to five axis machining. It, it will be beneficial when it comes to your more um, sort of conventional machining methods like turning, milling and so forth, but it really does it really does uh, cut those cycle times when you're looking at simultaneous five axis machining. Now the machine itself, two spindles, uh, you've got your milling head here with your B axis as we said, you can have 60 to 200 tools on this machine, HSK 63, you load the tools here, it's going to be difficult to get the camera right to it, but you load the tools in here, as I say you can have up to 200 tools on this machine. I guess uh, you'd want that if you really do have you know, long running jobs or you have complex parts or you're going from component type to component type and if you are going to utilize that tool capacity you're going to need something like they've got here which is the robo to go. Now this is um, a drawer a tray type system where you've got the billets here on the tray they're picked up by the um, by the grippers and then put into the machine and the, and the part that's in the machine is is taken out. Unmanned running is a very big topic at the moment it's a conversation going on around manufacturing around the world, you know, very big here in the UK, people looking to keep these machines running, uh, lights out. Let's go around the, 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 the back of this. I want to show you uh, where you would load it. So here, this is where the, the loading happens of the parts. Here you've got sort of these 200 mil billets here, which is what the impeller's made from. Um, you put them in the kind of individual pockets. It picks up the datum point here and kind of says 100 mil is the, is the center point and then it will pick up each billet and it will put it into the, into the machine. But the tray here is where you load. So of course you're not getting in the way of the, of the, of the robot as it's, doing its, as it's doing its thing. Let's go back round to the machine. What often, uh, what people question sometimes about automation and integrating this onto a machine is how's it gonna work? Who fits what? Who's responsible for what? How do I program this in conjunction with this? Well, this uh, machine is driven by an app, or this whole system is driven by an app, so you download the app, and then the communication between these two pieces of hardware is absolutely seamless. You know, you've not got to worry about making sure that you know, this is programmed and it's working in conjunction with the machine, tying up the two programs. Everything is done together. What they also do supply here, DMG Mori, with this new solution is you get um, access to Siemens NX. So that's their sort of cam system, which means that by just inputting like a 3D model in here, it will almost create the program for you, almost all the program for you. So it saves, again, I suppose, operators being able to be, in, you know, or programmers programming parts. So trying to make things very, very simple. Two spindles, uh, B axis head, total multitasking, full five axis machining. One of the big topics these days is gear skiving. You know, it's an operation that's done off of these machines, normally takes a long time. It's hard to get accurate and precise. These machines are more than capable of delivering to really high DIN standards on, um, on geared parts. 
Now this is a new model introduced just before Emo. If you're really after you know, advanced machining technologies with automation, then this is actually on a tour of Europe at the moment. Here in the UK, it'll then go to other countries where they'll be doing similar to what they're doing here at DMG Mori UK, which is showing off uh, what I can only say is, is you know, pretty, um, pretty exciting machine tool technology.